Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a decluttering video and not a perfume declutter, just in general a sort of home clothing shoe handbag declutter. So I have become too much of a consumer over the last two years. As many of you know if you watch my channel, I live most of my life fairly minimal aside from perfumes. I have also recently discovered a passion or a love, whatever you want to call it, for handbags and shoes. So that part of my luxury life has grown quite a bit over the last couple of years, but most of those purchases are things I love and actually wear. There's a couple that I was kind of on the fence about. I am going to be decluttering a couple of handbags in today's videos, but yeah, I realized that I just had too much stuff. And when did I become the this person who was shopping so much like when did this happen was it because of the whole panini situation was it because I was trying to fill a void what was it I don't know but in any case I ended up having too many things a lot of which I was never gonna wear or have not worn since I purchased it and I just really needed to go back to my minimalist ways a little bit meaning cull down my wardrobe, get rid of things that I am not wearing, get rid of pieces of clothing that make me feel cheap or that do not make me feel good when I wear them. I really want to make sure that everything that I have in my wardrobe is something I absolutely love. Same thing with my handbags. I want all of my handbags to be something I absolutely love to use and wear. So anyways, today I just felt like decluttering. It was a really nice day, the sun was shining. I really needed to do it for my mental health, for my sanity. As you guys know if you watch my channel, I love luxury things, I love beautiful things, I love perfume, I love things that most women love. I love jewelry, I love clothing, I love shoes, but I also love simplicity. I do not like clutter. I do not like visual clutter. The more stuff that you have sitting around your house, the more you have anxiety because you have to actually look after these items. You have to find a place to store these items. You have to clean these items. It is so much nicer to have fewer, better items. So yeah, if you guys are interested in doing a little bit of a spring declutter with me, then stay tuned. Hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration to do some cleaning of your own and some decluttering of your own. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump right on into it. All right guys, so I'm kind of jumping in in the middle of this because I started a decluttering frenzy kind of earlier today and I wasn't initially planning to film anything, but I thought I know a lot of my viewers really like to see minimalism and decluttering motivation. And the truth is you guys, I accumulated so so much stuff over the course of the last two years. I think just because of the way the world has been, a lot of stuff has been just me spending money stupidly on stuff that either wasn't the highest quality or I just don't need or things that didn't work out. Yeah, I've started shopping a little bit more at like fast fashion places, which I normally don't do. Places like Dynamite, H&M, which don't have the greatest quality clothing to begin with. And then I just feel cheap when I wear them. Long story short, this is just a small amount of some things I'm going to be decluttering. So first of all, right there is a box of stuff that actually has to go back. So there's like some tweed clothing outfits that I ordered that didn't work out. I have some stuff that has to go back to Shoppers Drug Mart. I have a cardigan I ordered from H&M that's gonna go back. In the corner, we have my daughter's winter jacket, which she has outgrown. I have to wash it and then I'm going to donate it. And in the bottom bin is everything from nail polishes that I no longer wear to hairspray that I don't really like that I stupidly put thinking I was gonna like a new hairspray and I should know better I always stick to the one that I like I even have a couple of like body care products and soaps that I'm just gonna donate so there is like some shea butter from the body shop I'm gonna see if my mom wants it because I just have other creams I like better I have a soap from Bath and Body Works that I'm probably not gonna get around to using um, I don't know, just like a ton of random stuff. I also have down there that linen, sun-drenched linen candle. I decided it was too linen-y for me, so I'm actually gonna donate that. I have another candle that I'm gonna donate. I have my roses from Rose Forever that are really beautiful, but I have gotten you know, the joy that I needed from them and now I need to pass them on to somebody else to get joy from them. I also have some perfume trays that I might try to sell. And if I can't sell them, I will just donate them. And then this is a pile of clothing that basically makes me feel really cheap or they don't fit that great or something like that. So for example, I do have a pair of shoes here and these I got thinking, thinking that those would be a great shoe to wear if I ever have an office job because they give me a little bit of a heel. Um, you know, they're kind of cute, they're neutral. However, when I put them on, I definitely feel 
quite old and dated and a little bit grandma. Not that there's nothing wrong with grandma or not that there's something wrong with grandma, but you know what I mean. I just, I do feel a little bit, and I have not worn them since I purchased them. And I thought, you know what, if I do get an office job, I can just get myself a whole new office wardrobe because right now I work on the floor and I don't need a bunch of office clothing. So I have a couple of workout outfits from Amazon that they're not bad, but they just are not the most compressive. They're not the most supportive. They're just not the greatest and they make me feel a little bit cheap and just not my best self when I wear them. So I have a pink one, I've got peach ones, I've got blue ones. Um, I have this really cheap rhinestone thing that I got from Amazon that I can't really return and I don't really know what the heck I was doing ordering it. I have a pleated skirt that I got from Marshalls that doesn't really have any stretch and it's just not that comfortable and the chances of me wearing a faux leather skirt in the middle of the summertime, slim to none. So you get the point, basically a whole bunch of stuff that has been sitting here, like sitting here in my drawers, sitting in my closet, taking up room, and I just don't need it. So I wanted to share this with you guys before I got it all boxed up in a bunch of bags and boxes before I took them and donated them. Another thing that I did as well was I got rid of one of our coffee cups. It was kind of like a random puppy dog coffee cup um, that didn't really match any of the other stuff. Not that everything is matching, but I kind of like everything to be very simple and very neutral and you know I don't like a lot of visual clutter so I don't really like cups that have logos and words on them and stuff like that so I have like some of my favorite coffee cups um, but they're all like very neutral and very plain and honestly this is too many coffee cups but I am a coffee fiend and I do like switching up my cup from time to time so I don't really want to go ahead and like declutter all of my coffee cups but I did go ahead and sort of make it look a little bit more minimized. That is our, um, that's our only cupboard where we keep plates, cups, that kind of thing. I have a couple of wine glasses up there, a couple of champagne flutes. I have one antique sort of cup for when I have tea. We had two, but the other one fell and broke, so. And then I have my Nutribullet stuff up there. And then I do have more drinking glasses. They're just, they've just been washed. And we have some coasters. And then this is all of our plates and bowls. That's it. So yeah, pretty minimal, just like I like it. And I was able to get rid of one coffee cup, which is awesome. Something that drives me a little bit crazy is I don't like how, usually the vacuum cleaner isn't there, but I don't like how the cat's water fountain looks. It's kind of an eyesore. It takes up so much room and it's like this big bulky white thing. But when I tell you, my cat drinks so much more water <laughs> so much more water you guys like since we got her this little kitty water fountain it's insane how much water she drinks so if your cat doesn't seem to be a big water drinker or if you have a cat in general I highly highly recommend getting a kitty water fountain they love running water apparently they like the sound of running water it's actually so funny my cat will sometimes just come and lie beside her water fountain because she likes to like listen to the relaxing trickle of the water. It's really cute. And then I just got her this random little meow bowl. Um, but I don't, I don't love how, how it looks, but whatever, I'm going to have to deal with that. I do need to get a new vacuum because as you can see, that one is like permanently, I don't know how to clean that. Um, somebody decided it would be a good idea to vacuum up wet baking soda with the vacuum. So I am not real happy about that. It was a really good little vacuum and I feel like it just doesn't work as well since that happened. So yeah, I don't know at some point I'm going to have to get a new vacuum, but so this is the um, kind of closet, I guess, when you first come in the front door to the right, it has all of our outdoor shoes. I do need to clean it. So I'm going to um, I guess clean everything up and give it a good sweep and that's all of our kind of outdoor shoes and my handbag and my stethoscope and up here we have a bunch of like outdoor stuff like an umbrella some balls toques mitts my daughter's winter boots which I put in the back we do have a you know what testing kit up there because we use those sometimes and then we have a bunch of jackets so this is not like this isn't the prettiest thing, but whatever, it's functional. Um, and then my daughter has her winter or her rain boots in the corner. Now, I'm thinking I might declutter a pair of boots here. Now, the thing that I've been asking myself as I've been going through decluttering is, is there anything that when I wear it, I feel frumpy or I don't like how it looks or 
I just, I don't feel my best self. And recently I did get myself a pair of these sort of Ugg style boots, which I actually really like. They're surprisingly very, very cute. And you guys, when it's like minus 45, minus 50 here in Canada, and I have to go outside and shovel snow, <laughs> um, I need something warm. And I think these are actually pretty cute. Like when I wear them, I do like them. I do think that they're quite cute and they keep my feet really warm and I made them waterproof. I sprayed them with some waterproof stuff. And so I think that those are good. These are like my go-to flats that I just throw on every day in the warmer weather when I'm just running outside to do something. Those are my daughter's shoes. These are a new pair of um, like just kind of flat Chelsea boot that I got. And I really like these for like spring slash fall. So those are great. I'm going to keep those. These are currently my work shoes. They are the Skechers Go Walk. They're so comfortable. I have been wearing these over and over. I just absolutely love them. And these are my over the knee black flat boot. These are by Guess. I really love them, but they're a little bit dressy and I only wear them sometimes, but I do love them and they make me feel great when I wear them. Um, I got my bag that I'm currently using, but the one, the pair that I think I'm going to donate slash get rid of because I just don't feel very good when I wear them is these ones here. So I don't know, they, well, they're really dirty for one thing. There's like hair inside of them. And these were kind of like an easy go to throw on if I just had to run out and take the garbage out really quickly or something like that. But I just, do not like wearing these. They make me feel very, very frumpy when I wear them. I also don't like that there's like 50 pairs of shoes here. So I'm going to donate these because the truth is when I wear them, I just feel kind of, I don't know. I just kind of feel like a bum. So I am going to donate those as well. Okay. So I just went through and swept and also mopped. It looks much better. Again, it's not like super pretty or anything, but it's very functional and it works, works for me. So as long as it's clean and it's organized and I actually wear everything that I have, I am more than happy with that. So, so this is my closet at the moment. It's still not perfect. Um, definitely some organization and some things I can do to make it a little bit more organized. So just on the top there, I do have a whole bunch of shoe boxes. I want to get them organized in a nice fashion. I want them to be really pretty. I have my Reeve gauche bag there, which I do use as my, it's not coming into focus, which I do use as my overnight bag when I go away for the weekend. I have some extra clothes hangers. I have a photo that I use just as a prop in my videos because it's really pretty. I have my tripod. I have some nursing books there because I do intend to reread and study all of my nursing stuff just to keep sharp. In here, I do have all of my nail supplies. So as you guys know, I do my own gel nails. I do my own tips. I do my own acrylic, everything. So I have everything there that I need to do that. And then to the left, I have actually more nail polishes in here. In here, I have a whole bunch of samples, perfume samples that I need to decide which ones I really need and which ones I can part ways with and then just sell them or give them away. And then down here, I have other perfumes that I may make a video about at some point. Here, I have a whole bunch of nail stuff that was actually sent to me from a company and I do have to do a video about that at some point. Um, I also have some candles. So just like spare house slash YouTube type of stuff. And up in the corner, I have a bunch of handbags that I'm fairly certain I need to sell or part ways with or declutter because they're just not my favorite. Um, I have grown my handbag collection quite a bit and these ones are just not doing it for me. So I might share with you guys, um, what handbags I'm planning to declutter. Um, but yeah, so they're just up there at the moment. I have to hunt down the boxes and the duster bags and everything so that I can post them. And yeah, so I think I might kind of take care of that a little bit today and then arrange the shoe boxes and make them look nice. It's just not super pretty, but I know where everything is and it's fairly organized, but there was a whole bunch of stuff up there that I pulled down. There was like a yoga outfit and a couple of other things. And I just, cleaned things up a little bit. So at least I kind of know where everything is, but I'm not done decluttering. I do need to organize and I need to post those handbags for sale. Coming over to the linen closet, I know that I seem to declutter and organize this frequently, but it seems like for some reason we always end up accumulating so many like 
shampoos and conditioners and lotions and just like random things. So I have gone through and decluttered this. Everything that's in here I want to keep. Um, so I have a couple of backup bottles of shampoo and conditioner that I really like. I have the one that my, it's the one that my daughter really likes. We have a couple of soaps there that we will go through. We have one that I like for Christmas. I have a couple of hair masks. We have a couple of um, backup body washes. I have those things for my Invisalign. I have some backup uh, what do you call it? Sunscreen, backup deodorants. Yes, I do use the men's Dove Care Clean Comfort. It is the best, even for a woman. It's amazing. Um, I have my Epsom salts that I like to use in my bath. I have some lotions that I actually will use. So I got rid of a tub of lotion that wasn't really working for me. And like I said, I'm going to give the, bo the body shop one to my mom. So I have my backup of my face cream. I'm almost out of that. I do have the vitamins vitamin E cream, which is really good for my skin in the winter when it's very, very dry. I have a bottle of Eucerin that I'm trying to use up, and then I have my two scented lotions. And I don't use a lot of scented lotion, you guys, but I do love the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and also the Coco Cabana. I like those two layered together. They are amazing. So I do have those, and those will be the only two that I use if I want to smell really nice. And then in here I have a bunch of stuff. I have like my Diva Cup. I have a couple of like tampons and pads for if I ever go on vacation or just want to bring one to work just in case. Um, we have a spare shower loofah. We have a couple of toothbrushes. We have some scissors for trimming your hair. Um, I have contacts in here, cotton balls, um, pads for my face, spare razors, things like that. So this is kind of like a spare toiletry catch-all everything is in here and then we have our lint remover and our static spray and i just have always kept the, those things kind of together and then we have our towels and they don't all match because this is kind of like a beach towel slash use it if you color your hair or something and you don't want to destroy the good towels and this is the one that i always use to dry my own hair it is the oldest ugliest towel in the world it doesn't even have like things on it anymore. It's just like completely bare, but I love that towel. And, and so, yeah. And then I have just white and gray towels and white and gray face cloths as well. And that is all we have for the towels. And then our toilet paper is down there in a bin. And then up top, I do have a couple of spare blankets for to throw over my bed, although I don't need them right now because it's not that cold. And I also have my hair curler and some hair extensions. So yeah. That is about it for the linen closet. And if I do say so myself, it is so much better organized than it was this morning. So when it comes to my dresser, I did decide to fold my clothing a little bit differently. I know that I had rolled them before, which was a very easy and like kind of lazy man way of doing it. And it seemed to work okay, but I decided I wanted to stack things a little bit better. So what I did was I actually went through and folded everything. So everything is really nicely folded. And I did manage to also declutter one pair of pajamas that I never wear. Everything else in here I do wear, but I think I need to go on a pajama buying hiatus because for some reason I became obsessed with loungewear, robes, pajamas, I actually had a friend and we we aren't really like we don't talk that much anymore but I actually had a friend um for a while who she and I like would encourage each other to shop sort of and it was just a really bad habit we would both go shopping and we would like share each other share with each other what we bought and before I knew it I had like all this extra stuff that I would never have normally purchased and anyway it feels really good to be doing like a purge and not be constantly shopping so Anyway, I really like how everything is organized now. I like that I can kind of see everything. It's beautifully folded. It's inspiring me. <laughs> um, and then I also did the same thing with my gym clothing. So I do have a couple pairs of gym clothes on the way from like decent companies. I have a pair coming from Astoria. I have a pair coming from Do You Even. I have one more pair of pants coming from Aloe Yoga that I want to try on and see if they're going to work for me. And I do have one top from Lululemon coming. And I just, I want pieces that make me feel good about myself, that are flattering, that are supportive. I got rid of a couple of things from Amazon. Like I told you guys that they were almost good, but not quite. Like they just weren't supportive enough and made me feel kind of honestly, like a little trashy if I'm being really honest. Like they made me feel a little bit trashy when I wore them because they just did not, they just weren't the greatest quality and they were a little too revealing and stuff like that. So I just didn't like them, but I do have a couple of matching sets in here that I do really, really love. By the way, 
I do have a coupon code for you guys if you would like a 15% off of Astoria. I will leave that in the description bar for you guys. I absolutely love their clothing. And then I have a couple pairs from Very, or actually I think it's called Very. I think it's called Very, not Very. Um, I do have a couple of shirts, and then I have a few sports bras, and then I have my Lululemon Align pant, and there's some room here for anything else that comes. But I think that that looks really nice and organized. I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks. And going forward, I only want clothing in my dresser that, again, make me feel good and are not cheap and all that stuff. So yeah, again, I kind of went crazy with the Amazon shopping and thought that I was finding like amazing stuff and really I wasn't. And then down here I have kind of the fun stuff. I have some lingerie. I have a beach cover up from Beach Bunny that I love. I have my bikinis. Everything's still nice and organized. I have coffee because I have been organizing and drinking coffee pretty much all day and it feels great. Although it's cold, it's cold right now. So this is what the side table and bed looks like. I kind of struggle, you guys, because I really wanna switch up my bedding, but I don't know what I wanna go with. I don't know if I want a different color or just switch up the pillow situation or you know, get rid of the Euro pillows. I think they look really pretty and really kind of glamorous. Um, but yeah, sometimes I like itch to switch things up. And then on the night table, I do have my regular lamp for when I read. I have my salt lamp, which I really like in the evening. I have some flowers and I have my phone. That's all I have there. And then a couple books on the bottom I'm still working on reading, which I will read at some point. I'm pretty happy with overall with how my room looks. Very simple, very clean, very organized. I do want to get a better mirror, but I don't know if it's worth it because I will be moving at some point over the next year or two and I want to have like a nice um, floor mirror. One that probably costs like $200 or more. This one was just a cheap $10 one from Walmart, but you know what? It does the trick and I can move it anywhere I want. So I don't really love that mirror, but it's okay for now. So when it comes to the closet, I was actually able to declutter a couple of things as I showed you. I got rid of one pair of shoes. I got rid of um, a skirt. I think I got rid of, I think I got rid of a couple other items, maybe just a skirt. Anyways, um, so I was able to minimize my wardrobe. Oh, I did get rid of a cropped shirt that again made me feel really cheap when I wore it. It was like a cropped long sleeve t-shirt from Dynamite that you know how sometimes you go shopping and in the moment you're trying things on and you're thinking, oh yeah, this looks so good. Like I look so hot, blah, blah, blah. But no, like you really are buying for your fantasy self. Never ever in my normal day-to-day -day life would I ever wear that shirt that I purchased. It just was like such a bad decision. And unfortunately I'm way out of the return period, so I couldn't return it. Anyways, I still kind of want to go through. I might take you guys with me right now and do like a quick, quick once over. See if there's anything I can get rid of. I don't really think so. Um, and then my shoes, I'm pretty happy with my shoes. I don't have any shoes at the moment that I want to get rid of. I like all of my shoes. I wear all of my shoes, um, some more than others, but... I love all my shoes, so I, I don't want to get rid of any shoes. Um, when it comes to my perfumes, I have just a few of my favorites sitting out. I have taken a couple off that I'm not 100% sure about or I just don't wear as often, and I have put them under my bed. And you guys, let me tell you, I cannot wait to do my perfume declutter at the end of the year. Like, this is going to be the longest 12 months of my life. Not to mention the perfumes that I'm not wearing are sitting under my bed going bad. So... Let me know down below if you think that I should just do an early declutter so that the perfumes can actually go to a new home before they go bad. I thought about that, like the idea of not decluttering for a year sounds good, but the idea that opened bottles are sitting around aging is not good. And then they're older and then I have to sell them and yeah. So you guys, honestly, like not for any other reason than I want these perfumes to have a home. I'm, I'm really tempted to do a six month declutter instead of a 12 month, but let me know down below. Um, what else? So the handbag situation is another, another story. <laughs> I do not like the way this is organized. I have to come up with a better way to organize them. It looks very cluttered, very crowded. I don't mind what's going on here on the door. I think that that looks perfectly fine. But anyways, I do need to sort through and there might even be a bag or two up there that I can declutter. In the Chloe tote, I have 
one bag, which I'm keeping. And then in that, um, oops, I'm pointing totally the wrong way. In the gray box, I do have a couple of bags that I have not used, like three bags actually that I've never used. And they're actually worth something, like they're very nice bags, um, you know, and I feel like maybe I should just sell them, so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I wanted to give you guys like a before because if I go ahead and start decluttering and redoing things, I wanted to have given you guys a little bit of the journey so that maybe you would feel inspired to do something yourself as well. So once again, this is, this is how it looks right now. And after I have figured out what I'm doing, I will show you the end result. So I've already done a little bit of a declutter with my dresses and my other clothing, but I feel like I can go a little further. So why don't we take it a little bit further here? I might have a couple of things that have tags on them that can go back. I'm not really sure, probably not. Um, so let's just go through. And again, this is all my street clothing, you guys. Like I don't have dresses or shirts or pants or jeans in any other place in my house. From here to there, that is all my street clothing. Um, and for the amount that I actually dress up and go out or like put on a summer dress or something, I don't need that much because I spend a lot of my time at home. I spend a lot of my time at the gym and I spend a lot of my time working as a nurse. So I don't need a lot of like dressy clothing. So white jeans, the only white pair that I have, we are keeping because I love them. And I think every girl needs a nice pair of white jeans. I have a pair of Capri, um, yeah, capri style pants that are really good for like office or if I have a meeting at work or something during the summer and I have worn them so we will keep them. I have a pair of pink leggings. Now these ones I don't absolutely love and they don't really go with a lot of what I have in my closet. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about those ones. Should I take them out? Should I take them out? So this is where I have a hard time, you guys. So for example, I love these pants. These are a kind of a high-waisted paper bag um, trouser, I guess. And they're like a really dressy material and they're um, tighter at the ankle. I don't know what to do with those because as much as I think they're so cute, I haven't worn them. And I just, I really don't know when I will wear them. And oh, this is the part that's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna make... I'm going to make some piles. If I'm on the fence, they're going to go in a maybe pile. And if it's not a heck yes, it's a heck no, right? So good chance that they will be decluttered if they go in a maybe pile. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Maybe I need to try them on. The next pair is what I refer to as my carpet pants. Actually, my boyfriend calls them my carpet pants because they look like a carpet. They look like an area rug. I have had these forever, you guys. These are a high-waisted legging type of pant. I love them, and they literally go with everything. They are from Walmart, believe it or not. Um, I've never found a fabric or a print that I've liked this much. So those are like my holy grail, like office, like, you know, parent-teacher interview, responsible mom <laughs> pant. So I'm definitely keeping those. And these ones, I do not like this ugly detail here. I do not like that like crisscross, but that's usually hidden. And these are a very neutral beige pant and they're great for the office or if I have an education day or something like that. Those are really good. I have two pairs of, oh, these ones still have a tag on it. Oh my goodness. I have two pairs of faux leather, um, like tan caramel colored pants. I love them, love them, love them, and I have worn them. Well, I've worn that pair already. I'm not much of a, a blue jean girl, but I do feel like everybody needs a pair of blue jeans because, you know, there will come a time when I do something casual and need some casual pants, so I will keep those. And then I have two pairs of, oh, yeah, two pairs of black jeggings, and they have like a tummy, tummy tamer thing. They're high-waisted, cinched in at the ankle, very dressy, love them for like office, even going out for dinner, going out in the evening. I just love them. They're amazing and they're so flattering. And then I have a pair of black jeans and those are like my holy grail. I wear them a lot um, and I love them. I have worn them so many times. So all of those items I feel are very practical and really work for me. Um, I also definitely, the white jeans, those are a definite, those are a definite. Honestly, I, I don't know if I'm really over the moon about these ones because I'm not huge on capris. I'm not a huge capri person. Um, I don't really like anything that hits me mid-calf. I feel like it makes my calves look really big. I've never worn the pink ones. 
So I just tried on the capris. Please excuse that they're with a sweater because that's just how we're rolling today. And these are actually fairly flattering. I don't like that they show my tattoo. I absolutely hate that tattoo and I wanna get it removed. Um, stupid decision when I was like 22 years old. I don't know why I did that. What do you guys think of these pants? I don't know. I kind of wish they were full length. They're nice, but I do I do wish that they were full length. So these are from our W and Co. These are pink leggings and they are quite flattering. Um, the only thing is they're pink and I don't wear them that often because they're pink. So yeah, if these would have been this color, that would have been great. Cause really how much use am I gonna get out of a pink legging? You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, why is it so difficult to make decisions about what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of? And these are the high-waisted paper bag kind of pants. Also, I have abs today. <laughs> That's awesome because I haven't been to the gym yet. Um, yeah, these are so cute. I just really, really like them. I find them so flattering. They're so comfortable. I'm just like struggling with when I would wear them, but I really love them. And I was looking for a cute pair of high-waisted paper bag pants to wear with heels and like a cropped shirt. Um, I really like these pants. So I think I'm gonna keep these pants and I'm gonna get rid of the pink ones. Okay, so I decided to keep the capri ones because I love the color. I think they're very flattering on me, but I do definitely wanna replace them with a ankle length or full length pair at some point. So yeah, otherwise I'm pretty happy with my pants. So I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I have 12 pairs of pants in my entire wardrobe, not counting scrubs and gym clothing. Not bad, right? 12 pairs. I'm still a minimalist, even though I have like 80 perfumes. <laughs> um, okay, let's move ahead. Tell me if you guys ever do this. You go into a store that you normally would not shop in and you buy a whole bunch of clothing that in the moment you think looks really good in the change room and then you get home and you're thinking, what was I thinking? Will I ever wear this? This makes me look cheap, etc." I kind of did that with this. <laughs> so this is a bodysuit from, oops, my phone went off. A bodysuit from Dynamite. It is very cheap material. It is too tight around my bust. I don't really know what I was thinking with this. Um, yeah, and I don't know if I will ever wear it. I wouldn't mind getting a nice bodysuit, but I would like it to be like a nicer material. And every time I put that on, I feel very, very cheap. Um, it just, it's not that flattering. I, I literally, you guys, spent like, I'm embarrassed how much I spent on dynamite clothing. I normally don't shop there. I normally shop at, actually my favorite place to shop was Nordstrom Rack, but Nordstrom Rack quit shipping to Canada and Nordstrom Canada doesn't have near the selection that Nordstrom in the States does. So because of that, I've been looking a little bit more closer to home, but you know, I from now on, I'm sticking to Nordstrom, Holt Renfrew and Aritzia and maybe Zara. That I think those are gonna be my four, and the Bay, Hudson Bay. So the Bay, Nordstrom, Holt Renfrew, Zara, and Aritzia, because they actually have good quality clothing that don't make me feel cheap. And for the amount that I will actually wear a bodysuit, I don't need this bodysuit. So I have to just let go of the fact that I wasted a bunch of money on it and get rid of it. One extra hanger. Here we have a cute little cardigan. And this I actually found from Marshalls. That was a really good find because it is a really nice, um, lightweight, white cardigan. It goes with everything. It looks so cute over top of a dress. So this is great. I love that. Here we have a basic t-shirt, basic white t-shirt. Everybody needs a basic full length white t-shirt. 100%. That's great. Keeping it. Here we have another little cardigan. This one's from Maritzia and it's very nice, um, high quality fabric. And I really, really like it. I wear it as kind of like a shrug over top of summer dresses if it's like a little bit cooler out. So we will keep that. This top, I don't love the color. I wish it was more of a true white. It's kind of an ivory. It's very cute though, very feminine, and this is actually nice to wear if I just want to look like fairly presentable but mature and I have to run out and do something and I want to look like decent. It's not my favorite top, but I have worn it and I do like it. Here we have a very basic casual t-shirt. It's like a burnout kind of thing. I've actually worn this a couple times. It's a really good like 
just going if you're just going to do anything outside something outdoorsy and you just have to be comfortable and we have this really cute little um, sheer polka dot blouse that I have worn and really love it's very sexy you can wear like a bralette underneath and I really like that worn it love it here we have two of pretty much the exact same shirt keeping both of them they are a kind of a halter tank type of thing but they're pleated and I am all about pleats especially white pleats it's probably my favorite thing in the world so this one I got from Marshall's such a steal it was like $12 and then this one oops this one is um, Calvin Klein and I have had this one forever I got it from the Bay and I wore this a lot when I was in nursing school for clinical I would wear this and like a nice cardigan and it just looked so professional and it was so cute um, so I'm definitely keeping that here we have one of my favorite shirts in the world this was from our W and Co it is a mixed media pleated peplum style cap sleeve crew neck beautiful blouse and I love it. I do have to figure out how to get the armpits clean because I have worn the shirt so much that the armpits are actually getting stained, but that is one of my favorite tops of all time. I've had that shirt for like seven years, you guys. Um, this is just a really nice kind of a satiny blouse or I'm not even sure what it is. It's probably not satin, but some sort of a blouse with just a button down front, very professional looking and also very chic and I really like it. And I have the exact same top as the white one, but in a ice blue color, and it's so flattering on me, and I just love it. One of my favorites. I have a long sleeve, kind of a cotton t-shirt in a very neutral color, which is awesome, looks great with pretty much everything. I have a few cropped tops. So now this one is from Dynamite, but I don't feel cheap when I wear it. It's kind of like a ribbed material. It's very neutral. I actually wore this when I was on vacation a lot and I really liked it so I actually bought two of them because that's how much I liked that shirt. I also have a long sleeve cropped white t-shirt from Topshop. This one is very good except I feel like it's shrunk a little bit since I got it so I do have to like stretch it out somehow but that's a definite keep. Now this one is a white cropped shirt from Dynamite with cinched in sides. This one I have worn probably not enough to make up my mind whether or not I really like it. So I'm going to hold on to that one for now, um, but I can see that one going in the future. Now this is another one that I actually got from H&M and this one is designed to be like tied around your waist. That's why it has those straps there. I don't know how I feel about that one. I think it would have been better without the straps. So what I might do is actually cut those off and hem it and just make it a cropped shirt. So this still has potential, but I might have to alter it because I don't know how much I love the straps. So that one's okay. And then I have a couple of like cashmere type of sweaters from Bartolini, not even sure what that is. Um, but yeah, really nice gray one. I also have a really nice peach one really like that. I have another cardigan. This one is in like a camel color and I really like that. Haven't worn it yet, but it's brand new. I also have a really cute little, I don't know what you call this thing. I don't know what you call that thing. <laughs> Kaftan? Is that what it is? And it's in this beautiful rose colored or rose print and it's very girly and feminine and pretty and I really like it. Then I have a couple of jackets, which I really like. And this one here is new and it was such a good find you guys this one is so elegant and so lovely and it's in like this uh tan beige color and it was only 50 dollars. so yeah that was a really good steal found that at marshall's then i have another little kind of a top coat thing with a little nice little lapel on it very nice then i have my work cardigan so it's not that nice but i do wear it when it's like night shift and i'm cold at work then I have a couple of other cardigans that actually have buttons. I have a beige one and I have a gray one and those are both good, very casual. Then I have a dress. This one's from Dynamite, but it doesn't make me feel cheap. I actually like it and I have worn it and it's a good dress. Um, camisole, we can keep that. Little bralette top from Aritzia, super duper cute. Absolutely love it, definitely keeping it. This, I don't know. Again, I think I purchased this for my fantasy self who, oops, I think I bought it for my fantasy self who thinks that I am going out to the club all the time, which I actually don't do. I don't go to the club ever. Then we have another crop top that I got from Aritzia, and this actually looks really, really cute with a high-waisted pencil skirt, so I love that. Then we have a leopard print jumpsuit with a little hole in the middle, and I really, really like this. It's maybe not the most elegant, 
piece in my wardrobe, but I really like it and my boyfriend really likes it too and it's just super cute for the summertime. So I'm gonna keep that. I do have a really nice maxi dress. I'm gonna keep that. I love this, I've worn it. I have another sort of a cotton blend jumpsuit that I really like in one of my favorite colors. I have a gray sweater dress that actually is really nice. I'm gonna keep that. Now I have a few kind of like fun dresses. These are not dresses I would ever wear like in public really. They're just kind of like fun, sexy dresses that have a time and a place. Um, so I will keep those. Um, then I have a couple of skirts. Now th these are satin skirts and I really like the beige one. I think that I will wear the beige one, but you guys, I honestly cannot ever see myself wearing the copper one. So I think I am going to let go of the copper one. Like I said, the amount that I actually dress up and go out, I need to have only pieces I love. I don't have room in my wardrobe for things that are just okay or things that I might wear. I just don't go out enough, so I really need to be picky. So I am going to get rid of that brown skirt. Then behind that, I do have a couple of pleated skirts. And pleated skirts, you guys, are my muse. They are my favorite thing in the world. I actually have another one coming from Aritzia. My favorite is the Wilford skirt, if you know what I'm talking about. It's high-waisted, it's pleated, it's a midi skirt. So beautiful. They have them in so many different colors. They are instantly elegant. They are refined. They are girly. They are feminine. They are flattering. They are comfortable. You just cannot go wrong so anyway I have this one here this one's actually from the bay and I love it it's kind of like a little bit shimmery very girly I just love it I also have it in this kind of nudie color that has like flowers underneath but you can't really see them um, so I really like that that one's from Aritzia now I don't know about this one this is a satiny mini skirt in like a brown color and I don't know if I will ever wear this skirt so I'm actually just gonna throw it here for now then behind that, I have a pair of shorts from Arit or not Aritz yet, Zara. I just got those. I think they are adorable. They're like this crocheted, kind of embroidered, high-waisted white short, and I think they're just darling, and I love them. We'll hold on to them. And I also have another pair behind that, and those are from... I'm not even sure where those are from, but they're, again, they're like a high-waisted kind of a paper bag short, and I really like them. Ted Baker dress, love it, gonna keep it. Dress from Mango, love it, gonna keep it. Really nice pinstripe dress, love it. Summer dresses from Aritzia, love them. Dresses from Aritzia for the summer, you guys, honestly could make up my entire wardrobe. I would need nothing else than all clothing from Aritzia. That's how much I love them. And they're all elegant and good quality and very pretty. We have a jumpsuit from Topshop, super, super casual, but you know, you need casual things. We have a really pretty flowy white dress that I got from Nordstrom a couple years back that I love. We have another beautiful ruffly dress that I got from Nordstrom that I love. Super casual white dress, Marshalls, love. Wilfred dress from Aritzia, love. This one, hmm, this one has a time and a place. I, it's not my classiest dress. It's like kind of a body hugging red dress, but it, it's all right, it's all right. I've worn it and I like it. Um, and then we have another floral dress. I do like this one, but I would like to replace it with a better color for myself. I'm not crazy about the color, but I have worn it and I did like it. This is kind of a little bit more formal, not formal, but like professional, like office dress, but I do like it. Really like this one. Got this one from the Bay. And then I have like a whole bunch of dressy dresses, which are not going anywhere. I have a couple of satin dresses, silk, satin, Ruffly, Cocktail, Party, Eliza J, um, Vince Camuto. I don't even know who made that one. Like very nice, you know, evening cocktail kind of stuff that is all good and staying. So yeah, for the most part, I think I did a pretty good job deciding what's cheap and makes me feel cheap <laughs> and what is like elegant and flattering and I'm actually going to wear and feel good wearing it. So, so that is the paired down wardrobe. So I just counted and I only have 23 shirts and that includes sweaters. So I really do not have that many shirts, you guys. Like I don't I don't even know what can what's considered normal anymore. Like how many shirts do you guys have? To me, I was getting to a point where I felt like it was a lot. Even for me, I feel like this is still a lot, but I feel like in the grand scheme of things, it's not that many clothing, um, which I'm really happy about. 
I did actually pull out a couple more items from here because like I said, I don't have room for things that are less than great. So I actually pulled out this black high-waisted satiny skirt that was kind of an impulse purchase and this kind of like super sexy bralette top because honestly, like what are the chances I'm going to wear that? I don't think they're very good. I'm going to try it on, see how I feel, but the chances are pretty good that that's going to end up going that's going to end up going <laughs> because yeah, if I'm going out for cocktails or dinner, I'm certainly, I mean, I'm probably not going to wear that. You guys, like, I don't know why I purchase. Sometimes I purchase things thinking I'm, you know, 19 years old and I'm not 19 years old. I'm not going to wear something like that. You know, I mean, I don't think I will. I'm going to try it on and see, but okay. So it still isn't perfect, but this is how I have it organized. now it is definitely a little bit better. I still have my bag in the back for my weekend. When I go away on the weekends, I did organize the shoe boxes in the middle. I have a picture there that I'm probably going to use in uh, videos. And then in that box in the corner is where I have all of the purses that I'm probably going to post and sell just handbags that are not doing it for me. And I also added in there my red Tory Burch, which if you guys follow me on Poshmark, I've had that posted for a while. I just haven't seemed to be able to part ways with it yet, but I am working on it. And then, yeah, this stuff is all fairly organized. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but it's all stuff that I use and I know where everything is. So, and now I will show you what I did with the closet. It looks so much better. You guys, I really made use of my space by putting handbags inside of handbags and SLGs inside of other handbags, as long as there was no like color transfer issue. And I'll show you what I did. So I'm really happy with the way it looks at the moment. It still has a lot of stuff in it, but it's so much more organized. And I did definitely declutter a lot. Still a lot of bags, still, you know, has lots of stuff in it, but I feel like it's so much better organized and not as cluttered. So the first thing I did was I took all my perfumes that were on all four of the shelves and I moved them to the second and top shelf. And this is actually better for me because then I can actually reach all of my perfumes. And to me, it looks more like a collection, um, like a little bit more curated than just a huge shelf full of perfumes. So yeah, um, I actually love all the perfumes that are out here right now. I don't think there's any that I would want to declutter from, from my perfumes at the moment. I really love all of them. Although I probably will pare them down a little bit at some point at the end of the year. And then underneath that, I did put one of my Chanel bags and I also put my little Bottega Veneta dupe. And then I put a pair of boots underneath. And I think that that looks really cute. It's fairly organized. I mean, it's not perfect. This isn't my dream closet, you guys, but it's pretty good. And then I did get rid of a couple more pieces. I did decide to part ways with the copper skirt. I also parted ways with the black crop top and the black uh, high-waisted skirt. I just felt that they weren't really me. And like I said, for the amount that I actually dress up and go out or like wear a nice summer dress or something, it has to be something I absolutely love. I do not have room for stuff that is like just mediocre. It has to be all great. So I feel really good about the things I got rid of. Honestly, I probably could still part ways with one or two more items, but I think I did pretty good for today. And then what I did on the top with my handbags was I actually concealed it by putting handbags within handbags. So for example, in my Speedy B in the corner there, I do have a bunch of wallets and SLGs and a smaller handbag just to make room. I also have a handbag inside my Never Full in the monogram there, but you would never know it because it's inside. <laughs> I also have a couple of bags inside the Dior book tote, and I also have a couple of bags inside the Chloe, uh, I believe it's called the Woody tote. So I definitely made use of my, my space. And I'm thinking about letting go of that little beige Tory Burch in the middle there, that little kind of like pinky nude one, except that was literally like, was it my first or my second? I think it was my second, no, my first ever designer handbag I ever purchased aside from like Michael Kors or something like that was my first like higher end bag and I bought it from Rodeo Drive. I still have the receipts and everything that say the store it came from and that was really special for me because it was my first ever big purchase. Um, and so anyway, and it's a beautiful bag and it's in this really soft, I don't know if it's calf skin. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what this is. If somebody knows, let me know. It's either calf skin or, um, lamb skin or something. And it's actually got a couple of tiny little scratches and it does have a tiny bit of uh, color transfer on the back. Such a pretty bag. 
Um, uh, you guys, I have never worn this. I have never worn this. I don't know why I got it back and it's like I was waiting for a special occasion or something and then the pandemic hit and I just never, never wore it. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one or what, but so this is a quick view from the front and yeah i mean again it's it's not perfect i would love a big walk-in closet a closet that was as big as my bedroom but i'm really happy with it because i can see everything that i have except for the bags that are inside of other bags but i know they're there and um yeah it's just like so much more organized and this is my pile of stuff i have been able to declutter since bringing you guys upstairs with me which is pretty awesome i'm gonna go ahead and add them to everything that i was already gonna declutter So I do also want to give you guys just a quick view of the handbags I am decluttering. This is a beautiful bag. This is the Saint Laurent, I believe it is, I can't even remember, is it called the Lou camera bag? I'm not even sure. Anyway, I really love it. It is absolutely beautiful. Such soft, gorgeous leather. However, I have learned I am not much of a camera bag girl. I only have a couple of camera bags and I just don't love the style of them all that much. So as much as I really like this bag, I am gonna let it go. It has such beautiful detailing. The other thing is that the strap is a little bit long for my body. So I don't really like wearing it as a shoulder bag and even as a crossbody bag, I just don't love wearing it all that much. So the next one that I am regretfully decluttering is a beautiful bag. Absolutely stunning. This is the on the go tote and I think this is the small size. I'm not exactly sure. I, and as much as I love the look of the bag and I love the colors and it is just it is just so beautifully made, you guys. It has this beautiful soft suede on the inside and it is just beautiful. Um, and it's very, very practical. The thing I don't like about this bag is that I have learned as well that I don't love a small square bag. I like a large square bag or something that resembles more of the Birkin or Kelly type of bag that has a little bit more shape to it. But your typical like small square bag, I'm just not in love with it. I don't know why. Every time I wear it, I just don't love it all that much. So I'm kind of sad about it. Um, because it is beautiful and I just absolutely fell in love with this whole colorway. I love the gray with like the beige. It just looks so pretty, but um, yeah, I just I just don't love wearing it when I wear it. So that one's gonna go. The next one that I'm letting go of is a bit of a cheaper one and this one is a Steve Madden um, kind of a rock stud clutch, I guess, and it still has the takes. It's like brand new with the takes. Have never worn this. I ordered this over like before Christmas time. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> For the amount that I actually go out, I need to be putting my best foot forward and I need to be wearing my favorite, favorite stuff. Although this is a really cute, you can use it as a clutch, you can use it as a shoulder bag. I just have other nighttime bags that I prefer a little bit more. The next one is this red Tory Burch satchel. Now, this one I have a bit of an emotional attachment to because my boyfriend did buy it for me and I've had it for a couple of years, but again, it falls into that small square bag category. As much as it is a beautiful bag, it's this bright like fire engine red color. It's just really pretty, super well made, um, really cute. It has like the little Tory Burch thing there. Um, it has a strap. It's really nice and it's very practical. It holds a ton. It's just kind of very basic for me. Like it doesn't have the feet on the bottom to protect it. Um, and I have only worn this like once and it just, I don't know. I just don't love the style for me. Something about it, I just never wear it. It's sitting there, not getting worn. There's absolutely no point in me holding on to something that is not getting worn when I could turn that over and put it towards something that I do like. So I don't know. I'm kind of like a little bit emotionally attached to it, but at the same time, I'm not using it. So the next one is my Chloe Nile bag. Now this one, you guys, I really like, however, and I don't know why, but I lusted after this bag for so long and I can't remember where I found it. I found it on something like, it was like Joma shop or something like that. I lusted after this bag. I wanted it so badly. And now that I have it, it is just very, very impractical. It's weirdly shaped. It's a little bit too small. I can hardly fit anything in it. It only holds the bare essentials. And I was thinking this would be like an everyday summer bag. No, <laughs> it is way too small for me to be an everyday summer bag. So as much as I lost it after it, and I do like the overall, I like the overall style. I'm kind of over it at the same time. I'm just not loving 
the way it looks as much anymore. I found it very, very impractical when I was using it last year. So yeah, this one I'm definitely going to be selling. And last but not least is my Alma BB. So this is in the Demier Aben. And again, I really lusted after this bag. I wanted this bag so badly. I don't know why. I don't know what the obsession was, but I wanted it so badly. Once I got it, again, I... I imagined it being a little bigger, even though it is the BB size. I thought it was going to be bigger, and I just struggle to fit what I need to in there. I feel like it's more of an evening bag almost, but it's kind of that awkward like cross between a crossbody, but I don't really like how it looks crossbody versus like evening bag, but it's just a little too big to be an evening bag for me. I just it just doesn't quite tick off what I was hoping it would tick off for me. And so yeah, the Alma BB uh, definitely is gonna go. I recently got the Alma PM and I love it so much more. It is so much more practical and so much more user-friendly and like everyday appropriate. But yeah, this one just does not tick off the boxes for me. So you guys, that is pretty much it. I am slowly running out of daylight here. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. It wasn't super exciting, so sorry about that, but hopefully it did inspire you guys to do a little bit of clean out of your own. I don't know what got into me today. It was just like the weather was perfect and I just felt like, decluttering and I was like I need to get rid of the clutter it's driving me crazy and the key is to not let it accumulate again that's the key be very picky with the things that you shop for and mindful with your money and all of that kind of stuff and actually enjoy what you have you know that's my that's going to be my mantra going forward so I did get everything in the bags that is going to be donated. I have two bags of clothing slash shoes and whatever that are going to be donated. I am going to try posting those perfume trays and see if they sell. This is a whole bunch of stuff. I'm pretty much just going to give away nail polishes and a coffee cup and a hairspray that didn't work for me. Pretty much whoever wants it can come take it. And then of course I have my returns that actually go back to physical stores. Um, they have tags on them and all that stuff. And yeah, so that is all the stuff I was able to declutter today. I'm really proud of myself. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little declutter with me. Going forward, hopefully I will maintain this sense of really enjoying having fewer, better things. I need to go back to that mentality. So anyways, going forward, hopefully I can maintain this minimalist mindset, go back to my basics, go back to my roots a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.